what's going on youtube <clears throat> this is marcus and i'm back with another review i'm here to talk about real housewives of atlanta season 10 episode 11. so <clears throat> portia opens up the episode by having kim over to tell her about the trip to houston and kenya's meltdown um portia pretty much the way she was able to get kim over to her house was um to cook a vegan dinner you know because kim is a vegetarian and then you know not to mention the fact that Kim is really one of the only people who's willing to film with Portia right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Kim's issue is with Kenya and why she's so adamant on trying to prove or believing that Kenya's marriage is fake. Um, at the end of the day, if your marriage is doing good and your family is good, that's all you need to be concerned about. Why are you so concerned about whether or not somebody else's marriage is real? Um... So Portia goes on to talk about how Kenya was sleeping with her ex in his truck at McDonald's. Um, well, maybe not a McDonald's. It was something. It was a fast food place. Um, so I'm also not exactly sure why. Um, whenever it's a type of event where it's just the ladies why is croy always sitting outside because we saw where kim asked for a plate for croy and i'm just like because he's obviously sitting out in the in the van with the producers um but i'm just like i'm just not understanding like i understand if you marry you want to be around your spouse but when it pertains to something where it's just girls he could have stayed at home uh, if you and Portia is, is as good as friends as y'all try to act like y'all are, y'all good girlfriends or whatever, he ain't got to worry about you trying to jump on nobody or it's nobody jumping on you. So anyway, Candy takes Ace to this event space because she's going to throw a party for her Essence cover. Um, you know, I feel like Candy deserves every, you know, bit of what she's getting. Candy has, you know, in spite of the things that she's gone through her, throughout her life, she's been able to take it, take that positive and turn, take that negative, excuse me, and turn it into something positive. She's very successful. She had multiple businesses, even with everything that went down last season with, you know, the drug allegations and things of that nature. She's been able to take all of that and push forward and, you know, make good out of the situation. So, um, you know, she's, you know, was able to rehire Carmen um, I'm not exactly sure what Don Juan's issue is with Portia. Um, you know, Candy was basically like, you know, she, um, wanted to send Portia an invite so she can see what winning looks like. Now, I saw what Candy posted. I don't know if it was on Twitter or what, where she basically talks about how the reason Don Juan, you know, dislikes Portia is because, you know, um, with him being her employee, if Candy had lost businesses and lost, you know, things of that nature, then that would also put a damper on Don Juan's income. But my thing is, Don Juan been throwing shade at Portia way before the drug allegation. Even when Candy and Portia were still somewhat cool, Don Juan was throwing shade at Portia and taking jabs at Portia. So I was just like, Candy girl, you can miss me with that. Um, but whatever. So we get to this whole thing where Cynthia's having will over, over for sushi. Uh, pretty much they have this conversation because Cynthia is on the whole point of because Will is the first guy that she's kind of dated um, since she's been with Peter. So she basically like she doesn't want to get into something serious. It's confusing because she was saying that she doesn't want to be in something serious. She wants to kind of shop around and date around. But it's like but when it's like with her and Will, it, you would think that they were in an exclusive relationship. Whereas Will, on the other hand, he's at a point in his life where he's ready to settle down and have a family and wop, wop, wop. So you can see where there's kind of a difference. And and I feel like this is something that should have been discussed when they first started dating. Like, OK, what do you, you know, you know, this is something that should have been discussed when they first started dating. Um, And so Matt, oh, not Matt, Will pretty much tells her, like, you know. If you're not ready to, if you still trying to date around and want to date other dudes, do that. Get it out your system and then come and talk to me because I don't want to invest my all into you and I'm not getting the same thing in return. So, 
This is where Eva comes on to the show. Um, you know, her and Nene meet up for lunch, whatever. So we see where Kenya um, is out shopping, buying exercise equipment for... Um, what's her husband's name? Mark's birthday. Um, you know, she asked... She's with her cousin. Her cousin asked her if she if Matt Mark's going to be in Atlanta more often. Um, she doesn't know if he's going to move to Atlanta, but she's hoping that he will, especially, you know, if they're trying to um, thinking about having kids and stuff like that. So. Let me see. All this stuff, with the whole thing with Kenya. So we get to Nene's party. On the way to Candy's party, uh, Eva reveals to Nene that she met Will a couple months ago, and he was with. He said he was with his girlfriend. Um, and it's uh, the timeline. It seems like there might have been an overlap between Cynthia and and the woman that he said was his girlfriend. Um, or either Will's wasn't completely honest about his timeline. So everybody comes to. Um, the party, we saw that Latavia from Destiny's Child was there. We saw that um, Latasha from Escape was there and a lot of other people. So, I'm not really sure, but I'm not really sure why Portia came to the party if, because if me and somebody are not getting along like that, I mean, okay, you, and, and whenever I say something like this, I always have to say, we're going to take out the part that they're on the show and they have to film together. But if me and this somebody are not getting along, we're not on talking terms or whatever, I'm not coming to your event. Like, I may say, you know, congratulations or whatever, but I'm not coming to your event because we saw where Shamia and Candy were sitting on the couch talking and Portia was sitting on the other couch just sitting there all awkward. She didn't really have nobody to talk to until Sheree and Kent, Kent, uh, Kim got there. So... They do the whole, Don Juan does the whole, you know, welcome everybody to the party. And he also reveals that Candy is going to be on the Chicago play. So then Ty gets up talking about how he sees all these people there. He was like, I see Kim and Croy. I even see Portia. And that goes to show that, you know, goes to show the type of woman my wife is. And even if she's not cool with you, she still wants to be whatever, whatever he said. And I'm just sitting there like. But in the in the other scene, your wife said the, the only reason she wanted to uh, invite Portia, so pretty much she wanted to pretty much throw it in Portia's face. That was her whole reason for inviting Portia. Now, I'm not exactly sure if Ty was there. I can't remember if Ty was there. But I'm just like, girl, yeah, your, your wife had ulterior motives when she invited Portia. And that was also something that they discussed in that scene because they were like, you know, have you and Portia sat down and had a conversation and, and you basically told her like, you know, me and you are never going to be cool or whatever, because they don't want Portia to come in there thinking that everything is all hunky dory when it's really not. So even Candy, um, you know, told when she got up was basically talking about how you know she knows that you know people have done things against her and whatever, but you pretty much they've helped her to get to where she is. So let's look at the story. We I got about. Six points that I'm going to talk that I'm going to point out before I get into the whole wheel and, and whatever. So, number one, Will told Cynthia that he's not dating anyone else because there was a scene where she asked him, how long have you been single? He said two and a half years. Um, Eva said she ran into Will with a woman who was introduced as his girlfriend at a cigar bar. Eva found out that the woman was close to Will's daughter. And this meeting was four days before Will and Cynthia's relationship became public. And Willing's on Instagram claiming that he's campaigning for Eva's boyfriend whose website is expired. So pretty much um, now once Will saw Eva at the party, his whole mood changed. It was, you know, he could tell it was different. Like he like he just knew something was about to pop off. Because uh, even when he went and spoke to her, it was kind of awkward. So we saw where it was Kenya, Nene, Eva, Candy, and Carmen were standing around. And this is where Eva basically talks about how, you know, when she had met Will a couple of months before. And, you know, he the girl was introduced as his girlfriend. And it was four days before the world knew about him and Cynthia dating. So Kenya goes 
and pulls Kenya to the side. And so, you know, Nene all in confessional, like, girl, why she got to pull her to the side? I'm like, because as a, when you're friends with somebody, that's what you do. You pull them to the side and, 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 and give them the information. You don't talk about it in front of everybody. So Kenya basically relays the, the, the information to Cynthia that she got from Eva. And so when Matt comes over, I'm sorry, when Will comes over, he could see that something was off with Cynthia. But Cynthia was like, girl, you know, I'm fine or whatever, whatever. So Kenya pulls uh, Will to the side and basically asked him, was it true? He said no. So he pulls Eva. They have this whole back and forth. Obviously, Will has been lying about something because there was no need for him to get as upset as he did. I mean, because when you think about it. That was a couple months ago. Well, I think Eva said it was like a couple months ago, but Will was trying to say it was seven months ago. But mind you, he told Cynthia he had been single for two and a half years. Now, I don't know if he introduced the woman as his girlfriend or if, you know, what the situation was. But obviously, he wasn't good at trying to come up with a lie because he got so pissed off. What was wrong with saying, you know... You know, that was my girlfriend at the time, but things didn't work out. And so, you know, we're no longer together. But like I said, he had already told Cynthia that they had, he had been single for two and a half years. Um, and, you know, Cynthia basically told Will, like, you know, I know that we're not, you know, we're not exclusive or whatever. But if you have a girlfriend, you know, I'm not trying to date you because I'm not trying to be no side chick. And, you know, and Cynthia, she was saying that she she appreciated Eva for giving her the information, but it kind of seemed like the same time that she was feeling the type of way. And so Will basically was like, I'm going to walk away because this is a bunch of mess. So Sheree and Kim and Portia come outside. They're trying to figure out what's going on because she was like, Will looks upset. Eva looks stressed. Cynthia had them took her shoes off. And so Cynthia basically was like, you know, if you know, you have some information about a guy that I'm dating, especially with him, you know, having a girlfriend or being married, I want you to let me know. And so Portia basically was like, okay, she pretty much let Cynthia know that I have something to tell you as well. Um, so, and it goes off and it's to be continued. Um, now, I think that Cynthia and Will, I thought that they looked cute together, but at the same time, once I found out that he was, you know, allegedly had been on them dating shows, I was kind of like side eyeing him like because when you think about it the women on these show on this show they're you know at you know at celebrity status and so i think that you don't want to be paranoid but at the same time you kind of have to question when a guy approaches you you know is he really here for me or is he just you know wanting to be with me but you know to try to get his 15 seconds of fame or 15 minutes of fame however you say it um I kind of feel like Will kind of was, you know, doing all of the right things and telling her everything that she wanted to hear to for her to let her guard down a little bit, especially considering, when, you know, in this episode, she invited him over to the house. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what the future has in store for Cynthia and Will. Um but I think I've read or heard somewhere that they're still together, like in present day. Um, so, yeah, y'all, that was pretty much it. What do y'all think about the situation? Do y'all feel like Will was lying? Or do y'all just feel like maybe he got his 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 timeline mixed up? Um, and, 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 and then let me also say this. Do y'all feel that... Because I understand, you know, when the whole thing of, you know, trying to... You know, you if a woman is dating a guy that he's not being completely honest, that you kind of bring it to the forefront. But I kind of feel like, considering the fact that Eva and Cynthia did, didn't really know each other like that, I kind of feel like that wasn't her place to really say anything. I don't know. But y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think about it. And thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later.